Disrespect can stir the stormy seas of our emotions, but imagine steering through those waves with the unwavering steadiness of a seasoned captain. This is the art the Stoics teach us, navigating life's tumults not with emotional turbulence, but with a serene mind. Epictetus, a sage of antiquity, once said, Men are disturbed not by things, but by the view which they take of them. When disrespect comes knocking, remember, it's not a measure of your worth, but a shadow of the speaker's perspective. Hold your calm as your shield, and let not the arrows of disrespect pierce your peace. 1. Self-reflection. In the quietude of your mind, turn the lens inward. Stoicism isn't merely a philosophy, it's the craftsmanship of the soul. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king, believed that the mosaic of our life's happiness lies in the quality of our thoughts. Faced with disrespect, ask yourself, is there a kernel of truth in the criticism? Did my actions fan these flames? Align your response not with the heat of the moment, but with the cool, deliberate forge of your values and virtues. Self-examination is the whetstone on which the Stoic sharpens their character, carving out a visage of wisdom from the raw marble of experience. 2. The Power of a Pause Seneca's words ring as true today as they did in Rome's marble halls. Anger is not just a present foe, but a future master. Stoicism doesn't preach suppression. It champions mastery over the tempest within. When disrespected, let not your response be a puppet to impulse. Pause, breathe. Gather the scattered leaves of your thoughts. This moment of stillness is the bridge between emotion and enlightenment, giving birth to a response that resonates with the stoic ideals of wisdom and self-control. It is in this pause that you find the path to a response that elevates rather than escalates. Three, have empathy. Seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves, Epictetus advises. When disrespected, let empathy be your compass. Step into the shoes worn by the other, navigate the corridors of their motivations, fears, and perhaps ignorance. Empathy doesn't just shield you from taking offense, it extends a hand of understanding. It's the salve that heals wounds and the light that reveals the non-personal nature of most slights. By practicing empathy, you maintain your dignity, embodying the stoic virtues of wisdom, compassion, and personal growth. If you've reached this far, you're not just reading, you're preparing for action. You're ready to walk the path of the stoics, where every slight is a lesson, every challenge a teacher, and every moment an opportunity to embody the virtues that have stood the test of time. Carry these lessons forward, and when disrespect crosses your path, remember, you have the tools to not just endure, but to thrive. As you reflect on these principles, I invite you to engage further. Share your thoughts, comment on this journey, and if you find value in these words, subscribe for more insights. Together, let's continue to cultivate the wisdom that turns life's challenges into stepping stones for growth. And until next time.